Hi guys, this is Andy Chatfield from PTZ Optics. I am here today to show you how to upgrade the firmware of your 12X SDI G1 camera. So the first thing you're going to do is open up the 12X SDI G1 firmware folder from Dropbox and go into the SOC folder. And we are going to run this upgrade program. If you've ever put your camera on your network before, you should be familiar with this program. It finds all of your cameras by their MAC address and gives you their corresponding network information. So I know the camera I want to work on today is 87. The first thing we're going to do is back up the camera. This doesn't actually save any of this, the information on the camera. It saves some specific information of one of the, the chips inside the camera um, that can have issues during the firmware process that we just want to make sure everything's good so we back it up and restore it after we're done the firmware process. I do want to mention that um, this process will take about five or ten minutes long. Make sure that your computer is not going to go to sleep. There's no updates that are going to happen. Nobody's working on your network at the time. Um, if anything causes the upgrade to be interrupted, it can cause an issue with the camera where the camera's outputs wouldn't work. So just make sure that everything's clear to go and you're, you're not going to have any issues um, upgrading your camera for the next ten minutes or so. So we backed it up. The next thing we want to do is upgrade. I'm going to query, make sure I have a connection, and I'm going to change to MTD, and I'm going to find my disk image file. I'm in the 12x SDI G1 folder. This is the disk image file I want. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit upgrade. I should mention this will shoot up to about 85% very quickly. Um, it'll then take about five minutes to complete. Your camera is going to reboot twice in this process. So, um, once it has rebooted twice, you will most likely very quickly see the upgrade success message, and after that, we can we can continue with the firmware upgrade. My camera is just rebooting for the first time. I'll be waiting for the second time. My camera is just rebooting for the second time, so it should be finishing up the process here very shortly. There we go, upgrade success. My camera should be back to factory defaults at this point. So there's its factory default IP. I'm gonna set it back to what I had it set to, which is 11.87. And now I'm going to restore the backup. 
but I'm going to wait until I can find it again. There it is. I'm going to restore this backup. Camera will reboot again once you restore the backup. Backup successful. So at this point, we should be good. The camera should be fully upgraded to the most recent firmware. Um, you should be good to use it. I will mention you might want to use the IR remote control to press star pound one. This will revert your on screen display back to English, um, which it reverts to Chinese after the firmware upgrade. So that is useful. Now I'm just going to test my camera feed in VLC. And there is my camera feed. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please, please get a hold of us at ptzoptics.com. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. Bye now.